Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to share internet from Android to PC or iPhone. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, to share our internet from our Android device to our PC or iPhone, what we need to do is we need to enable our hotspot. In this case, go ahead and open up your Android device here, click on settings, and from here you want to scroll down a bit until you see the portable hotspot section. In this case, let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the option that says set up portable hotspot. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, we need to enter or use an SSID. Now in this case, go ahead and enter the name that you want to set for this one or SSID. So by default, I'm going to keep this as me for. Now the password, go ahead and type your password as well. So in this case, I'll be using the following password here. Now once you've done that, go ahead and click on the check at the top right here to save your changes. And from here on, go ahead and enable your portable hotspot by enabling the switch at the very top here. Now, once you've done that, we are now ready to start sharing this either in our iPhone or PC. Now, if you're using an iPhone, you just need to go ahead and open up your Wi-Fi, look for the SSID that we set for this portable hotspot, and enter the password that we've entered. Now, in this case, if you're using your PC, you need to have a Wi-Fi receiver in your PC. So in this case, let's go and switch over to our PC. So we are now in our PC. So at the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi icon that you see at the bottom right here. And you want to go ahead and wait for it to fully load up. Now in this case, this might take a while, so look for the connection that we have. So since we named this as me phone, let's go ahead and click on it, click on connect. And we just need to enter the password for it. So in this case, let's just enter our uh, password so let's just double check it if it's actually correct. Now let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, you can go ahead and click on yes or no on this one. But for now, I'm going to actually answer no. Now, once it's actually connected, it should now start using your internet that is on your phone here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.